I'm Jacqueline Nelson. And I'm Mike Babbitt. And today's bottom line is when are these Chinese markets going to hit the bottom? Well, anyone who knows the answer to that could well get rich. There's been so much volatility, but you know the end result is something like what? Down 30% since uh, Chinese stocks peaked last month? You know, it sort of sends shivers up your spine. One analyst, in fact, called it China's Black Wednesday. Right, and people are also talking about another dark day it resembles, one in the U.S. in 1929. That's not just because the Shanghai has you know, flown so high and then dropped, but also because of what happened after. You know, As an old copy of the Globe and Mail showed from that day, there were a lot of important bankers that met at J.P. Morgan to talk about you know, what was happening and support the market. They reassured everyone. Now, in China, it was top brokerages promising to buy stock. Well, for the U.S., that sort of wound up being a Band-Aid solution and the market dropped again. And in China, it's not looking so good either. Uh, the government has acted. The regulator has acted. I saw one comment that suggests this is Beijing's whatever-it-takes moment. There are so many stocks that can't be traded. You know, the troubles have spread from Shanghai to Hong Kong and further afield, of course. You know, and, and there's a tussle between people wanting to get out of the market and the regulator wanting to keep them in. And you can expect to see further action from the government, too, because market watchers say it hasn't been all that effective so far. Already there's been almost daily reforms, and though there are other analysts that are saying the Shanghai, you know, it's still up sharply from where it was a year ago, so what are we to make of that? Yeah, it depends on who you talk to. As always, some say the impact is going to be harsh because China is expected to be the engine of the world's uh, economic growth. You know, others say eh, not so fast, there won't be that much of a broader economic impact. Well, either way, it seems that the enemy here is panic, as it so often is. So let me leave you with a quote from that day in 1929 from The Globe, where we found that many people were completely wrecked in the strange debacle due to a combination of circumstances, but accelerated into a crash by fear.